up guys, this is Aeth, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the bouncing effect with Plane Effector. And this is what we're going to be creating. You'll notice that a few seconds in and a few seconds before the intro ends, there is a bouncing effect, and that is done in Cinema 4D. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take one text. Unfortunately, um, you might be able to do it with two pieces of text, but that would be a little bit more difficult. You'll have to do both. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using one mo text, and you'll see how easy it is to create. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go and select your mo text, and go to MoGraph, Effector, and Plane. And just for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to keep this all in this little text thing. So go to Plane, after you have um, opened it up, and go to fall off and set it to box. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keyframe it. So you'll notice that whenever you make it go round, it already um, you know, kind of goes upwards. What you're going to want to do is you're going to drag this all the way to the side and you're going to click this right here. This makes a keyframe. You're going to skip ahead 20 frames and click it and click it again. Well actually you're going to drag this first all the way over here then click it again. So basically now you'll have this little animation. So to do the bouncing effect, you click on Tutorial, go to MoGraph, and actually you click on MoText, um, but I named it Tutorial, and then go to Delay, and I'm going to drag this down here. Then you set the Effector mode to Spring. I'm going to turn this on 75. And so what you'll have now, I need to do that is that a little kind of thing and it's very slow because I'm recording so just bear with that and so that's what you have without doing any effects so in plane what you're going to need to do is go to parameter scale uniform scale and set this to negative one then you're going to go to rotation set RH to 45 and set the rest the bottom to on 100 100. And um, that should be it. So go back to delay and um, just click spring again because for some reason you have to reload it every single time and this is what you'll have. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And the cool thing about this is that with plane you can drag this anywhere you want. So let's say I go 20 frames forward. And so I put that on 40, put this on 20. It's as simple as that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There will be more coming soon. Just tell me in which videos what you want to see. And um, 